Hey guys, it's Canadian Fisherman here, and we're going to show you our top 15 bass lures. I'm going to start off with a candy cane, corn colored, wacky worm, <laughs> put a size 4 G hook on it, and we'll show you the rig in another video. Alright, here I got my Trigger X paddle tail frogs, and uh, yeah, I'll show you how to rig them again in the same video as uh, Eric will be rigging them. So, uh, yeah, I'll tomorrow, guys. Here I got a uh, big O crankbait. Um, it's very good if you want to, it floats, so if you let it go to the top and you kind of jerk it and it'll make the little rattle and the bass love that they'll actually strike in top water or you can reel it in like a crankbait. I got a live target yellow spotted uh, frog with the tails in the back. Really good for bass. And yeah. I got my favorite lure here, my uh, hula popper. Ordered it from Bass Pro Shop. It's uh, I think it's a bullfrog anyways looks like. And um, yeah so so here I got a Rapala uh, suspending minnow. So this is great for trolling if you want to cast into uh, deep enough water for a walleye, yeah. um, a pike, or uh, even some bass. Got a live target mouse here. Pike love it because of the tail on the back, as you can see. As you can see right here, a pike has already attacked the back of it. And as in my luck, I did not catch it. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Here we got a, uh, a perch, so, yeah, it's like a uh, jerk, bait. jerk bait, yeah, so you, you can troll with it, it goes depth, it's two to four feet, so uh, I cast that along the, the weeds and it floats, and then when you reel in, you can, it goes down and you put it back up, so they can strike the top water if they want. So here I got a um, hot and tot mi uh, minnow crankbait from a Storm, so this is great for walleye, it's uh, the golden one, if you're going to get it, get, make sure you get the golden. It's uh, really good with the golden lip because there's golden or there's red lip. Good quality. The golden's best. Oh yeah, the really lips good quality. Metal. A lot of gold. The lip is really, um, really sturdy. Um, great for walleye, trolling for walleye or a uh, pike. I got a blue shad. It's like a rainbow. Pop, pop, uh, minnow popper. It's very colorful. <laughs> and yes, it's good for bass. Cast the side of the uh, weeds, and you can catch some big ones. All right, here I got a. Double gold blade uh, spinner bait here from Booyah. Here I got a reaction innovation um, creature bait. So as you can see, it's very nice quality. You can flip and pitch it into heavy mats, or you can uh, tip it, tip off, use that as a trailer for any uh, jigs or spinner baits or something. I got my Mizuo uh, jerk bait that has du double action and suspending to two to four feet. Good, great for trolling. What a great action right here, as you can see, and. It is great for casting out along the weeds. I got my Mazur minnow popper here. It's like perch, has a yellow yellow bottom on them. Has like a little fur tail on the G hook, on uh, the triple hook. I think. Um, and yeah, cast out along the weeds and you catch a nice bass. Here we got some uh, coffee tubes from Striking. So this is the packaging. They literally smell like coffee. They folks. do, they, they really smell like coffee. You would think they came from Colombia. Um, uh, we'll show you how to rig uh, the creature bait, the tube, uh, the trigger X minnow, and the wacky worm in uh, a video. Yeah, thank you for watching, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.